Okay. Elliot, for this is kind of a, a sideways question, but I, I'd like your perspective on it. I read recently about Paul McCartney negotiating for his publishing rights because from the early 60s to the mid 60s work is coming. I don't know if you have any artists like that, but can you tell us a little bit about what you see that issue of these, these okay. publishings coming back? Uh, there was a period where to sign a contract with a record label, it was called a 360 model. They wanted some of your publishing, some of your merchandise, and some of your live performance money in order to sign you. And the rationale was, we're going to make an investment in you, and therefore we think if that investment bears fruit, we're entitled to pick a little bit of all the fruit. Bad, 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 bad. Just really fucked. That kind, of, that kind of relationship with your label really led artists to want to leave the label as soon as they were able. Paul, along with Dylan, lost their publishing early. And when the Beatles first signed, EMI took their publishing in order to sign them. Same with John Lennon, they took all the Beatles songs. It's taken years and years for the Beatles to try to get back their catalog. Because again, it lasts forever, your catalog. It earns while you're sleeping. In Sweden, someone's playing your album. That's making money for you, for that writer. And Paul's a smart, smart, smart man. And he knows that for his children, for him to leave the legacy he wants to leave them, he wants to leave them as publishing. That's part of what you want to give your children when you pass, because it continues to work for you. Your publishing's working whether you're sleeping or dead. Your publishing is, is working. Um, so again, that's why I started this by saying part of a manager's job is to make that young kid who has no clue, who if, a, if he's approached by a record label, will do anything to make that record, to get that deal. You know, there's no price you won't pay. And Neil went through the same thing with the Buffalo Springfield. The first Buffalo Springfield album, Greenstone, took all their publishing. And it took me years to get back those copyrights for Neil, which I finally got back, but it literally took me three years in court. But the um, fact that 